Before we start the 2022 New South Wales Steam season, we transport you back to the 2021 season with 5917 pulling more picnic train specials to Kayama. Here we see the locomotive coming from Cogra, heading through Carlton as it makes its way to Hurstville on Saturday, December 4th, 2021. Later we see 5917 working its way through Cogra with another picnic train service decorated in time for Christmas and leaving behind a smoke screen in the underpath of the station on Saturday, December 18th, 2021. With school out for the year, we see 5917 charging through Carlton Station with its second last picnic train service for 2021 on Monday, December 20th, 2021. Then we see the locomotive passing through Alawa, heading for Tempe. The reason it had departed and terminated there was due to industrial action. We then see 5917 passing through Ruckdale with the final picnic train for 2021 on Tuesday, December 21st, 2021. On its return, we see 5917 pulling into Hurstville to drop off its booked passengers. Sadly, the train didn't make it to Kayama on this day due to track failure at Shell Harbour, and the train returned to Wollongong instead.
with 5917 heading towards Sydney. The 2021 New South Wales steam season had drawn to a close, despite the lockdowns caused by the Delta variant of COVID-19 and with a surge of the Omicron variant. The 2022 steam season in New South Wales had returned at Thelmia on Sunday the 20th of March 2022, with New South Wales Rail Museum's 2705 providing shuttle trains from Thelmia to Buxton. Usually the New South Wales steam season would start with the Thelmia Festival of Steam, but with the excessive rain that had happened during the month of February and March in Queensland and New South Wales, the ground was so saturated that it wouldn't support the infrastructure. Access routes to Thelmia by road had been damaged by the heavy rain, and part of the rail corridor at Picton had been wiped out by a landslip. So the long-awaited return of the festival had to be postponed between June 25th and 26th. We see 2705 at Kurijard. The old-time car horn was a novelty horn from the van seen going over the level crossing. Then we see 2705 pulling in at Buxton. Then as usual 2705 will be shunting to the back of the train ready for the return journey to Thelmia.
2705 returns to Thelmia getting ready for its second last shuttle run. On a rare occasion, we will be riding 2705 on its second last shuttle run to Buxton. We pass by the Railway Museum. A silhouette outline of 3801 can be seen in the undercover. It was supposed to be in Sydney on this particular weekend to celebrate the 90th anniversary of the Sydney Harbour Bridge by being on the bridge saluting it with Red Rattler F1 on Saturday and hauling trains from Sydney to Rhodes on the Sunday. But due to the landslip on the Picton Corridor that we had mentioned earlier, 3801's bridge appearance was postponed and its planned shuttle runs were cancelled. The Picton landslip would also affect the Hunter Valley Steam Fest in April and had to be postponed by late July. These steel carriages were once part of a famous Southern Aurora set that ran from Sydney to Melbourne from 1962 to 1986. Let's take a look at the countryside while 2705 works its way to Buxton. Once again we see 2705 shunting around its train ready for the return journey. Fifty nine seventeen returns to the Illawarra line on Saturday, April thirtieth, twenty twenty two, with a Kayama picnic train. Here we see a pulling in at Hurstville to pick up passengers after departing from Tempe.
59.17 now departs Hurstfield to pick up more passengers at Sutherland and Wollongong before heading to Kayama. Next day, Sunday, May 1st, we see 5917 charging through Alawa heading for Kayama once again. We return to Alawa again on Saturday, May 14th. And we once again see 5917 heading its way to Hurstville to pick up more passengers to Kayama. We return to Alawa later that night as 5917 makes its way back to Tempe. The loco was supposed to come through on Platform 3, but instead went through Platform 1 as it departed Hurstville. This was likely due to an oncoming electric train taking over its original path, and despite filming heritage trains, this is still a working railway line. Next day we conclude 5917's Kaima picnic trains for May as we see the loco passing through Rockdale on its way to its first stop Hurstville on Sunday May 15th 2022. Then once again we see 5917 passing through Platform 1 at Alawa, likely due to the engine arriving at Hurstville ahead of schedule, and the path that it was going to take was filled by a Sydney train's Tangara heading for Sydney. 
However, this time we made the choice of filming from the bridge at the station as it heads to Tempe. 